Hello guys and welcome back. I've been playing around in the server for quite a while now. I got myself some rubber, I'm working downstairs with the stuff. Also, I've been working on enchanting some cool books. I got Soul Stealer, Protection, Looting Tree and Looting 2, and tons of skeletons as you can see. Um, quite some lot actually. And I'm already level 22 so I'm having fun with the enchantments and the, the spawner. Um, also, this energy cell should not be right here, but yeah. Let's go downstairs first. Um, there's something I want you guys to see. I've been working on making some cool stuff go. For example, I place an MFE down right here, so I can directly power the industrial electrolyzer. And there's going to be an another MFE, if I can place this guy correctly, uh, which I cannot this way. Um... Let's get a wrench. I th yeah, an electric wrench should do the trick for that. Also, I got this pickaxe. I'm breaking tree fortune 2, efficiency 4. I've been using that if I go mining or if I have to mine something really fast here. Um, Got myself some silicon plates as well. Oh, there's more cables in here. Let's go. Oh, the wrench should be in here, right? Yeah, there we go. Electric wrench. Also made another MFE and an electric tree tab and a rock cutter with silk touch 3 oh yeah um, so right now I can silk touch stuff and as you can see I don't know if you saw this I uh, silk touched some right there I silk touched some stuff an iridium ore I found some rubies I begin to silk touch my rubies um, that basically has an, a logical explanation um, if you look at ruby ore right here and you right click it yeah then you see that if you put it in an industrial grinder, you also get the same ruby you would normally get, but you get tiny piles of ruby dust and red garnet dust, and I want to, to collect these guys. So um, I've been trying to work myself to an industrial grinder. Well, yeah, it was harder than I expected it to be. Right here, you can see the recipe. Looks kind of hard. I um, look for the wolframium cells, but for those in tungsten, and for tungsten, you need a blast furnace with a heat capacity of 2,500 Kelvin. Well, this guy is 1,700 Kelvin. Well, what do that, does that actually mean? I need to upgrade 16 of my machine casings to get to 2,500 Kelvin. Well, I need these guys. 16 of them. So, well, uh, that's 6 times 4. 24 chrome ingots. I got one at the moment. Um, there's also chrome needed here. Actually, I needed 40 chrome ingots. I got one, so I need 39 chrome ingots. One chrome dust is accumulated by doing a stack of... No, wait, I don't know. Yeah, six ruby dust is accumulated by um, centrifuging a stack of redstone. And, yeah, in the end I needed about seven, 17 million EU to do that trick, and I also needed 59 stacks... No. Yeah, 95 stacks. No, wait. I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm trying to remember. It's the. Uh, I did it yesterday. I think it was 59. Yeah. Yeah. 59 stacks of redstone in a centrifuge that got me enough um, ruby dust to then use the ruby dust in the electrolyzer, I think. And then I got what I needed for the chrome. So we needed quite some stuff. So I just tried and skipped it, and we went for the diamond way. Uh, there's two ways to get these guys. As you can see, you can use the diamond grinder or wolframium grinder. Well, the diamond grinder is pretty easy to make. You just need some diamond dust and a diamond and some steel. And actually, I got that made right here in this bench, as you can see. Um, a diamond dust is made by um, macerating or pulverizing a diamond raising a diamond so yeah let's make these guys uh, and then put them right in there and then we need a pump a pump is made like this pretty easy um, advanced circuit right here so right now the industrial electrolyzer you've seen me made this so I made it myself and then uh, like this the elect industrial electrolyzer let's put it in and there we go, industrial grinder. Okay, we want to put this guy down here, so let's make sure that there's two blocks space in between to make it 
well, yeah, two blocks, so one, two, three, we'll place it right there. And right now we see what we need to do. I think it's, yeah, we'll have to move this guy. Oh, oh. Um, I really don't remember how to do this anymore. I think you need it three blocks under it, all uh, advanced machine I have no clue, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I never understood. This is the GUI that you need to build, but I have no clue how to do it. Um, so, I'll look it up in a sec, but let's hook up the MFE right now. We can hook it up, actually. So, let's mine under here to make it easier to place. And we wanted to, actually, we can place this good. Yeah. Um, and then the glass fiber on top. And we got connection, cool. So, this MFE should fill itself up whenever we connect it like this. Uh, we're out of charcoal for some reason. Why are we out of charcoal? Let's we'll check. This guy's full, but he's not getting power. Um, well, I think he's working on it, but they're just not producing it fast enough. Um, let's check if our tree farm is still working, and then I'll... Um, I guess I'll continue. Oh yeah, they're all full. So why aren't they? Wa isn't isn't it connected? Oh yeah, it isn't connected. Lol. Um. So yeah, we got a couple of MFEs. Um. Cool. So this MFE is going to be filling. This guy's filled. Um. So I'm gonna need another one. Also, to the grinder I read that you need to supply, um, what was it again? I don't remember. You need to supply water to it too, so I'll have to figure out what exactly I need to build for this grinder, but yeah, this is too difficult for me to figure out, so I'll go watch a YouTube video on it. Um, but yeah, right now we got some more MFEs going, I really like this system, that actually everything is being powered, this one MFE distributes everything around, this MFE will power the two other MFEs. Yeah, actually, that's not... Hmm. I think I want to move this MFE to right there and then have them all powered through this. I think that would be better because now everything is going through this MFE and this MFE only can output 128 EU a tick. So it will be exactly the same. I mean, they will still have issues if they're both running at the same time and that's what I'm trying to resolve. Um, but I think we're close to making our first solar panel pretty soon. Um, I'll get myself more of these silicon plates until I got like 10 so we can make like 5 solar panels. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it for now. I will try and uh, get the grinder to work. Also, I wanted to make a bakery today um, with deployer because we have tons of bone meal as you can see. Um, 32 stacks of uh, bones already so we can make tons of bone meal and actually I wanted to make like a system uh, in another world like not, not um, outside I think I got the location for it already um, I want to check also I added some more trees I had some fun with those I think I want to make a bakery right here um, that would work with deployers and block breakers with red power and it would like give me wheat or potatoes whatever I wanted basically and is the tree farm still working? It should still be working. Let's check. Cover mode disabled. Um, let's go. Oh, almost fall. Oh yeah, it's still working. Cool. That's all we needed. Um, and right here we got also some issues. Yeah, I still need to fix my humus problems. Um, but for the rest everything should be fixed. So yeah, right now my engines are using the coal from here, but we should actually turn them all off, I think. I think that will be a better idea before we lose all this charcoal. Um, so yeah, I'll need to fix my humus problems, fix my issues with humus, and um, I think, well, oh, oh, we don't want that happening, do we? Let's put the sport on and Place some torches up here. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, I'll have to check for the humus in this um, right here on the roof. Um, so yeah, the grinder still needs to be finished. Humus. Um, you can make humus in different ways, like with uh, the composts. But this is made by wheat, so that's. I think this is the, going to be the way we go, uh, making a wheat farm right next to it, pumping the wheat into a bench, then adding the dirt, there needs to be a way to add dirt, I think with plant bowls, but yeah, that's, that won't be really efficient if we use plant bowls, I think, um, because plant bowls then need uh, more wheat, and I don't think we have enough wheat to, to power the whole system, could use the overflow seeds, um, or use more saplings, but that would even be more stupid. Um, so yeah, if I need to make another wheat farm to do exactly the same thing. I'm trying to get something efficient going. I think I'll just make a wheat farm and do it manually. Um, for now, I can place a hopper. And, can I? Yeah, I could I could e e easily place two relays on top, I think. Yeah, that should work, actually. That's a good idea. But if I place two relay... Hmm... I think a relay will still input in this oak sapling slot. Yeah, it's kind of buggy with red power. If you just place a hopper on top of there, it would immediately go in that slot and not in the sapling slot, but we need a way of, of putting our saplings in somewhere. And the top is definitely for the hopper. So I'll, I'll figure it out later. Um, yeah, the transposer doesn't work, it's weird. So yeah guys, I'll come back to you whenever I have some more stuff to record. Hello guys, welcome back. Let's try out the bakery I'm constructing right here. Um, I'm just grabbing some levers and some cobblestone. Also, um, I fixed the system finally. Um, I got help by Calico and we fixed the system together. I'll show you in a sec after I made these levers. Um, so what we basically did is we put a transposer at uh, the place where the skeletons drop. And oh, I'm. Um, oh well, I'll just mine through this. No big fence. Um, this okay. Oh, they're probably on kill mode. Oh well. So we got a uh, some redstone pipes here there with a timer, and that activates the transposer. And the transposer pumps everything that comes near into here, and then everything goes to that. And there's a filter there. That filters out gunpowder, rotten flesh, spider eyes, and, and arrows and bones, and everything that is not a mob drop, not what we actually want, <coughs> gets pumped into this little aquarium right here, and that's full with lava. So basically, every everything like armor and bows gets killed, and also I hooked up the other mob farm to this system, so everything from mob drops gets sorted, and we don't get any weird stuff going on. And actually, I think before we are continuing here, I might have to kill the mobs, actually. But in a while, I'll explain what my bakery is going to be like. I want it to be an automated system that pulls stuff out of chests and puts stuff into chests. And I made a little prototype right here. But I'll talk all about that while we kill the zombies. Ah, uh, skeletons, sorry. So uh, the basic plan is that we have a deployer that places down a potato or a wheat or a seed or anything basically and then another deployer um, puts bone meal in that and there will be a chest behind that deployer so he can actually just take it out of the chest I do not know if that's possible but it should be so we will have a chest full of bone meal and then a block breaker will uh, break it and then we'll have to resort the seeds back to the original place and um, put the outcome into a chest. That shouldn't be too hard, but first things first, you gotta kill these beautiful skeletons right here. As you can see, some of them have armor, and that's why we have the um, sorter. Um, oh, it's already over. Like, sometimes they are able to shoot you, it's really weird. Um, but overall, the system works pretty good. And I'm actually just getting my um, armor because I soon I want to go to the end and make an end trap we're level 29 so let's wait a little bit longer here so we get level 30 come on <laughs> spawn some freaking skeletonians there we go there we go oh yeah we're level 30 so let's um take a book from the shelf 
efficiency four. So basically what I've been doing is I'm gathering all these books and then whenever I feel like I uh, put some of the books into with a um, it's basically vanilla with a um, how is this thing called again? A anvil. You can put your sword in there with your enchantment. Then you can basically put multiple books into one uh, sword. So I got this one, looting two in this junction. Uh, this junction actually makes it easier to kill um, endermen. So it's basically like um, an enderman killer, just like sharpness, but then only for endermen. Um, then we got looting on there as well to make sure that we get quite some drops from um, the guys and then we got looting tree sword for our cow farm and I've been gathering this bronze armor with protection tree so I can protection 4 and protection 3 I will put on those so I can actually have some cool stuff going on and right now what we'll do is we'll kill these guys and then we'll uh, deactivate the mobs so we can actually no let's leave it on and let's throw the bow in there okay so um let's make the deployers i've prepared all this in these benches so a, uh, a block breaker is made like this a piston uh item pickaxe some redstone and a block breaker there we go and then here we got oh the deployers are already made so i'll show you the recipe for those the deployer is basically exactly the same piston but with a chest instead of a block instead of a item pickaxe so I think we want to do it like this, a deployer right there, and a deployer, let's put our sound back on in a while, and a deployer right there, and a block breaker right there. And this should work. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get ourselves a, how is this guy called again? I always forget the names of the items, um, I'm a noob in those. A hoe? Yeah, it's a hoe, yeah. Let's make a normal stone hoe. Stone hoe, there we go. And let's hoe, oh, we also need some potatoes and some bone meal. So let's get a stack of bone meal going. And some potatoes, we'll have to use some D layers. So that's, the, the prototype is gonna be there and I'll, I'll build it real nice in the bakery where we'll have a couple of these guys actually run in uh, a nice little system. This is some kind of side project, actually. Um, let's get a stack. And a stack you guys. So basically, potatoes are easy because, well, you can just root them back and forth all the time. But with the uh, wheat, you'll have to split the wheat from the seeds. So these in the deployer, these right there. And then we'll hoe this. We have water so we don't have to re hoe it all the time. And then the block breaker. So what we'll do is we'll attach levers on all the tops and we will take some items from here. Oh, I'll need some of pneumatic tubings. Yeah, but we can use um, redstone pneumatics, of course, later on, but I'll need a chest as well to test it out. So this should work. I have not tested this. That's why we're testing it, of course. Okay, so let's put the chest right there. And then we can reroute it later on. So basically, first things first. Great. And is everything written there? Beautiful. So right now, I think the next step is to add some dose blocks. Cool. And we basically want to red power it. But we need to add, is there some kind of new layer? Um, we could of course use, how are they called, the repeaters, yeah we'll use repeaters, um, oh there's a fancy repeater, let's make a fancy repeater, I want to see, see what it does, let's make a couple of those, um, so we'll need about three repeaters, yeah, something like that, um, no, two repeaters, yeah, two repeaters should be fine, so let's make two of those, if we have some blocks left, we do, so that is the easy part. We'll need six redstone wires. Oh, let's take all the redstone. Six of those. Oh, six of those. And then we need some cathodes, four cathodes. Um, so let's get some sticks going. Um, some cathode, oh come on, 
cat toads as well. So we got the cat toads. Anything else we need? An anode. Do we have more anodes? Only one. So let's make another three anodes then. Up. There we go. Easy as it is. And now we can add all the stuff together. If I remember. How to do it, and yes, that's the buggy part. I really hate that. Um, I think it was something like that. Oh, we only needed two, right? Um, and then those anodes only needed two anodes right there, I think. Oh my god, I will have to try and remember this recipe next time. Okay, two beautiful repeaters. Let's get some red wires and a uh, clock, I guess, a timer. We have another timer here, I think. Timer, yeah, right there. Cool. So what we will do is I'll change these cablings. Do we have normal redstone? We need normal redstone as well. And yeah, I want to make the prototype with you guys. So I'll I'll show the prototype and the finished project basically. Um, might do some future recordings as well. We'll see about that. Um, so re let's take redstone tubing instead of these tubings. That will be easier for the block breaker. Um, then the repeater right there. Hmm. Repeater is acting random. Oh, there's a lot of things to this. Okay, and then we can add you to that, and then another repeater right there. He's acting weird as well, I think. Not sure how to play these, never play with them, but I think it's like this. That would, no. I don't think it's, I really can't say, I have no clue. Um, we'll see, we'll see. So, like this, cabling up there, cabling up there. Cabling on this guy and then our lever. Oh. And then we can add our clock right there. Yeah, so are we losing items? No. So the repeaters need to be in reverse apparently. And then it should work. Yes, beautiful. And this guy, oh, this guy won't work like this, right? Yeah. We will need a redstone right there and a repeater right there. Are we having enough repeat? Yeah. Let's pull that a little bit further on. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's put them both to stands too. That, is that working? No. This guy has to be barely repeating, I think. Well, if we do this and that, that should work. Yeah, that seems good. Until he will run out of potatoes, of course. That's real nice. I like it. So, right now, the only mission is that we can re-input potatoes. And that we can have some potatoes in the chest. So, basically, how many slots is there? There's nine slots. So I think what a good plan would be is to let's go with blocks under here. Um, oh, that freeze the water. Okay, so we can't do it like this unless we find a better way for the water. The water we could place in front, um, actually. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could. Uh, but we don't really have to care about the water. We can keep the water in place like this. And what we then can do is we can connect you and kill the chests. Of course, they'll still go in the chest because the chest is the closest place they can go. Oh, uh, but this should fix our issue. And what it will do right now, or what it should do, it will fill up until it's completely filled. Can we go over there? No, we can't. So that should be working. It doesn't really look nice, of course, but we can make it look better. But what? Yeah, that should work. We'll do it on the floor, of course, later on. Um, in the finished project, but what should happen at the moment is, is yeah, I don't have enough potatoes to do this, of course. Uh, we'll have we can boot up the timer a little bit, I guess. To like, does it still work right now? Yeah. 
there's quite some duration between, so I can... Let's go to half a sec. Of course, we don't want to go too fast. See? Does it still work? No. Um, it goes too fast right now. 7.50. What about 7.50? Yeah, seems nah, seems to be. Well, let's just go for one sec. I mean, a potato every second is is nice. Already almost it out. But yeah, we'll need to supply quite some bone meal. But if you look at our chest, I upgrade this to um super chests, uh super barrels. So we should be having enough bone meal. I just fill it in with bone meal, basically, if I wanted to make it run, and that should give us quite some potatoes actually. As you can see, he's filling nicely. Yeah. Seems to work pretty good. Let's turn off the timer and check. I think... I don't I don't know for sure because there's no... There's not much time in between the beats. But let's boot it to... Another sec here. And we'll three check. So, yeah, this got this one goes pretty fast. I think there should be another waiting there. Dum dum boom. One two three. Yeah, that's better. Um, so let's go back to one sec. Yeah, right now it's it's booting too fast. So let's get to a sec and a half. Yeah, you really have to time this pretty nicely. I mean, I don't know what the delay on that one is, but I think the delay... The delay at least here should be one. That's what we need. And then the delay... Yeah, so um, I'll figure it out and I'll come back to you guys. Okay, hello guys. I finished the build right here. Let's activate it. Um, it's not that compact anymore, but I still like this kind of thing, and we don't really need that right there. Um, so that works good. So basically what happens is you can see there's a, a minor delay, but I got it to be really quick. Um, so what happens is, um, right here, we get the output, and then the outputs get altered between the chests, the output chests, and the deployer. The deployer is right now full, so it's all getting into the output chest, um, most of it. Then also, right here, we got a chest with an input of bones. Those bones get um, immediately, well not really that immediately, but they get transferred in the other crafting table to bone meal, and that they uh, are pumped out with this system and immediately pumped into the deployer. That's basically how the system works, but right now I only got one little problem. Um, I'd like you guys to solve this episode. Um, this is an all nice system, but what if I want to turn it off? For example, I want the system to automatically turn off whenever this guy is empty, right? So I want it to turn off whenever this guy is empty. Like, I know I could do it with the AND gate if no traversing pipe and stuff. Uh, then turn off and all, but I like a better way, actually. You know, um, because I do not have access to these assembly tables at the moment. I could build one, I know, I could build one, but I don't want to. Uh, oh, they changed. There's a couple of assembly tables. Oh, I want this guy. Um, so with diamond gear and the diamond and stuff, I could make one. I know I could make one, but I don't want to make one. Um... So yeah, it's a working system. I will leave it here for now. Try to alter it with seeds. That's not that difficult. Just place a filter down there. Um, but yeah, tons of potatoes. Potatoes forever. Um, so right now, let's disable the system. And get out all these lovely potatoes. And these will be my startup potatoes. So I'll place these guys in the place I need to be. And I'll use all the other ones for my cooking. So... Next up, I want to take these seats out. I need a filter though, actually. Yeah, I might need a filter. I will need a filter. Um, so let's kill you. Uh oh. That's not cool. Um, yeah, there we go. And we'll filter.
her out right here. So yeah, we'll have kind of two out. This will be two different systems. So the first system works. Now I just want to look at the second system. Um, so a filter. Cool. Where will we place? We'll place them right here in filter. But I'm just thinking, how will we do it? So, well, it's pretty easy. You just make a filter, but... Um, I mean, you know what I mean. So we only need a piston, piston plan, two golds, and an item, and that's basically it, I think. Not sure though. So an item in there, redstone in there, piston out there, you away, you in there, you right there, cobblestone like this, and then you in there, and that should make a filter for me. Nice. So yeah, that the first system is the one I just showed you. The set, the second system would be this guy, and of course we'll have to point him in the right direction, as we have to do with all machines right there. And we want this guy to filter out wheat, but before we can do that, we will have to actually make some wheat. So this system will work again, though it's already full worked itself apparently. Um, so I'll put some more bone in, but first we'll activate it like this. Cool, is it working? Oh, I, yeah, wow. I want to filter out wheat and wheat only, please. Thank you very much. And that goes there. Nice. So wheat goes out. I kind of want one more delay. I see, um, because yeah, it didn't really. Yeah, that's better. I prefer that. Okay, cool. So is the are the seeds getting out? I don't really see. Oh yeah, you can see right there seeds going down. Cool. So we got a wheat farm as well. A wheat farm is of course easier to make because yeah, it goes faster. But yeah, we got a wheat farm and a potato farm, so it works all fine, so let's get more bones. Um, I'll make a nice fabric, I think, next episode, depending on what the time right now is. But let's check. Let's put more bone meal in there. Also, I'd like to have a look at the quarry. I put it on again. The grinder will be tomorrow. I, have, I haven't had time yet to look it up, but that should be pumping again. Cool. Lovely. So, uh... There we go with the wheat, we'll take some wheat out and uh, do some stuff around the house today. Um, well, not today, just this moment, I guess. I'd like to put the humus on again, so we'll move a part of the wheat farm to the humus. Actually, we'll put a wheat farm right there, providing bone meal. Um, because bone meal is kind of the only thing we need to uh, put such a farm down. Uh, some materials, though, but I'll just have that right there. And a, uh, the bones, I will, like some of the bones, of course, I will directly put right there. So we will have lots of uh, bones going on. Oh, it worked. Is he out again? He's out completely. Um, oh, junk out. Cool. So we're down to level 40 right now. There's some copper in the walls. A lot of copper in the walls. I'll mine that out later, but... Right now it looks pretty good. Any uh, emeralds or sapphires we see? Let's check. No, not really. Nope. Because I want to um, silk touch mine those. So that's what we will do in the next episode. I will eventually talk about chopper, but not today and not tomorrow. Uh, because we gotta finish the biofuel factory first. So, I really love my bakery. Um, it's an easy design. It's cool. And you get tons of wheat really fast. So I guess I'll just put a barrel down here and let this guy run for quite a while. I'll just fill his, uh, his chest. And actually, yeah, let's get some barrels. Barrels should work better with this system. Um, I think I'll need, yeah, let's make two barrels for now.
lovely two lovely barrels here and I want to well I'm, uh, I'll mine this chest down uh oh this will give such a bang as I said um potatoes go right in there give me all the potatoes please then the wheat oh come on um we will use we will lose some of the wheat like that so we lost a bit of wheat um but right now let's get our tubing that should work oh he's having wheat so we need a barrel a free barrel he's getting jammed right now there they are lovely 13 sacks of you already and the wheat is flowing in pretty fast actually I don't know what will happen to the wheat um, oh there's wheat in there yeah that's logical makes sense um, I think we'll have to add a barrel here as well for the overflow we uh, seeds we getting um, so let's make one more barrel maybe yeah that will be a cool system I guess I can just run it in my house for now but I want to make an a nice base for it kind of thing um, <laughs> almost 700 stacks that's cool so yeah I want um, a special house for that system well just for the potatoes because that will be my food supply um, for the other ones I'd like to make something as well just something nice something cool um, how do you want to do this though well we can have our over can have our overflow chest right here I think oh 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 that is not what we want we'll place a barrel light there and then I'll get two panels from this guy let's get more marble brick panels because we're working with marble brick so we can as well continue with it so we don't want it right there and we don't want anything right there and then we can place it oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. We're getting overflow. Yeah, so that's a problem we're l we're going to have actually. I'll have to look into that because he's making it faster than he's supposed to make it. Um. Ouch. Not cool. I don't think I don't think I can take from a chest. I'm not. I really not. Maybe. Maybe I'm saying maybe. Um, this does work. That maybe if you put overflow, I will deactivate you and kill you. And what if we empty you? Will you take from the chest? I have no clue. I don't think it will, but I like that. Yeah, he's definitely lowering. Um. Yeah, we are going to have issues that I have to resolve with this. Uh, a relay would be a good idea, but eventually the relay will fill too. Um. Hmm. Yeah, a relay would work, but the only problem with a relay, if it if the relay is full, then it's game over, right? Um. So I think the best idea is to actually have this a couple of blocks away and um, have a relay here too and move to the pneumatic tubes and then we won't have these issues. I think that would be a better idea. Uh, but actually we want to have it looping this way. So it goes forward first and then moves. And then goes into the dried position. Um, so yeah, I'll put, I'll make a couple of relays and finish this project until next time. Um, so yeah, as you can see, lots of weed being generated, lots of bone meal as well. So this system can basically run forever. I mean, he's producing seeds, he's producing wheat, everything we want is getting produced. Oh, that doesn't work. Since when do? Oh wait, uh, it covers. Cover should work. You can see covers work. Great. Um, that's cool. Working system we got. Um, let's check on the. Oh, I already checked on the quarry. 
So I guess I'll end it right here, guys. Um, awesome system we created. I love to watch this. Um, so I'll fix that right here with the golden tubes. And see you guys next time for episode 12 of our Feet of the Beasts.